What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Sir, representing Top Dog Entertainment. What's good? I'm Layton Green, and we're about to play Would You Rather on the Fader. Damn. <laughs> That's a hard one. So I would just base no fork, no knife, just face to plate. So basically eat like an animal. There are other loopholes. I don't know if you guys can think of them, but we've we've Eat them with up. your feet. <laughs> <laughs> I could grip someone. <laughs> I don't even think it's about gripping it with your toes. Loophole. It's about getting oh. the toe to your face. Like, how you do I this? I could do that. I'm waiting. I, I want to. All right. You got oh, you you to use your hands. You got to. Yeah, you can't use your hands. That's the glitch. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> What's the loophole? I can't believe you're really it. out here right now trying to get your. <laughs> yeah, I'll right. take my favorite food because, you know, I got like 50 favorite. I'm a foodie, so I like everything. Nah. You know what I mean? So. If I had one thing that I would like, I'd say I love more than anything, it's oxtail. Well prepared oxtail over rice. You know what I mean? So if I couldn't eat that, I could settle for jerk chicken. I'd do some jerk fish and shit like that and still be able to get my fix. You know what I mean? And then just go straight to my black menu. Because I can always fry some chicken and have some fucking greens and some mashed potatoes and be like, damn, I miss oxtail. <laughs> Eating with my damn hands. I you found the I mean? loophole. Somebody's going to feed me. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Holes. I like that that's too. Funny, yeah, damn. treat me like royalty. What if I don't loophole gotta feed today? myself, that's all right. All right. Yeah. No, you never I, use I my hands again. Loophole. I'm just saying goodbye to oxtail never and use moving on, man. I can't let go of crab yeah, I, meat. I need to eat my. That's my funny. favorite food. And I, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather have somebody uh crack them for me anyway. <laughs> Shave all the hair off my body. Shave. Wait, my my head too. Sell my sneakers. Oh, no, I can't sell my sneakers. I can never wear a sneaker again I'm is what shade. you're saying. I'm going to just wear My hair will grow back, it. though. Nah. Or I got to stay bald. Oh, yeah, the hair yeah, will grow question. back. Oh, I'm shaving it all off. I'm real partial to my dreadlocks, man. It took me a long time to get here. I don't think I would just cut them. But, but you can, you could, you know you can yeah. put them back on. Wants to grow back. You see, that's a whole nother dread. conversation. I'm not that nigga to, to want to do no dread weave. I see my man over there. <laughs> he head. laughing because he knows once these dreads go, it's over. It's over, <laughs> baby. No more. I'm not. No. Nah. And with the shoes, like, I feel like eventually I'm going to figure it out. I, I'll be the barefoot king or some shit like that. But I'm going to have my hair. Nah, shoes, final answer. How long have you been growing your dreads up for? Man, going on 10 years. And I've already, like, had to, like, restart. You know what I mean? Like, I did, like, uh, a year and a half and had to cut my hair for like some job and shit like that. And I, that was one of my biggest regrets and I had to start over and all that shit. And you know, you go through breakage anyway with these dreads. So like, I, you know, I definitely don't want to just call, cut them off and start over. So I'm holding on to these motherfuckers for sure until I start like balding, then you'll see me cut them off. Then they go on for sure. But I put too much work into this. I ain't just gonna let them go like that. And shoes, like I walk around barefoot anyway and I'm like a sandals type of guy. So yeah, I'm for sure Neanderthal. I need my sneakers. I'm gonna tell you that right now. She had your eyebrows all the way off. I draw them on. They got makeup. Tat you know, females be tattooing them on now. We're gonna find a way. They're gonna grow back anyway, right? They might be messed up. They're gonna be fucked up for the rest of my life, but I can wear a wig. They got lace fronts now. Draw my eyebrows on. We good. Reality show. Reality show. I don't think we gonna be able to bite. Ooh. Pee and get on nah. that damn bike. <laughs> I can already tell you. Ain't but gonna, a reality ain't, show. Ain't nobody but Doc gonna wanna get on that bike and ride across the country. <laughs> I think Doc's the only one that, that that's that gung ho. But uh, yeah, Q shutting the bike shit down. The reality show, I mean, we, I already feel like we kind of live in that on our own mm -hmm. Instagram stories. You just put our stories in a line and you'll see the the reality of TDE. Sure. You know, so no, yeah, that could definitely crack show. off. That'd be funny. That would be fun. I, I think y'all's would be way more like wild and like fun. Y'all look like y'all have hella fun. If you guys were to come up with these reality shows, what would you name them? Oh. They'd probably be called Hell Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to call it. This dysfunctional as hell. Ours would probably just be called the Schoolboy Q Show. Because eventually that's all niggas are going to be watching for is Q. Who do you think out of the label is like the wildest character that would shine on this reality show? Mm. That That's kind of hard. I feel like a lot of people would shine. City Girls, of course. P. <laughs> 
<laughs> For real. Once we get to drinking and smoking, it's like we all like the same type niggas. So any of us might pop off at any moment. But if I had to pick one one person, I would say Zakari. I think you get him drunk enough and, and turned up enough, you're going to see a side of him that motherfuckers ain't really. <laughs> Wedding singer. Everywhere. Five track project for sure. Keep me in the studio. Do I got to perform it or can I just drop it? I just be in the studio. Oh man, every week I'm gonna give y'all five hot songs for sure. By like the 50th song, I'm gonna be so tight and crazy because I'm gonna be in the lab getting better and just working that much on the craft. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm just gonna keep giving y'all records until y'all sick of me. That's what I said. I wouldn't want nobody to get sued me. <laughs> so we gonna be I mean, at shoot. these folks' wedding yeah. every week. <laughs> Who getting married? No, it's gonna happen eventually. When you think about it, like you know, nobody lasts forever. No, yeah, know? for yeah, sure. Everybody has a date, but I wouldn't so want to run it out too fast. I would like, let that run its course for sure. I would see how long I can keep people entertained. <laughs> it would get tricky after a while for sure. You writing that many songs that you have to release? That you have to release. I'm sure I'm gonna have like a toothbrush mm -hmm. song in there. That's I'm too gonna have stressful. Like, like no. <laughs> It's too stressful. Nah, I, I definitely would do that. I mean, the wedding singer seems chill, but after a while, I would just get, I, I have a problem with I could with do that, like, though. My surroundings not changing. You and I, I love mean? love, but you see different weddings. You, you're not going to be going to the same wedding every week. That's true. I'll be able to sing at Brian McKnight. You ever sing at a wedding? Nah. I have. So you it's, have? Yeah, yeah. And it's 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 fun, but it's it's a lot of pressure. Nobody I know yeah, has gotten married, so. Oh, man. Hopefully that changes soon. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. You know, my mom works in the church, so we've been to a lot of funerals and we've been to a lot of weddings. You know what I mean? And have fun at weddings. The random ones are the best because everybody, it's the same kind of energy any wedding you go to. The random ones? Happy. My, when my mother plays and I just have to pull oh, up okay. like a sis, like I don't know the people. Yeah. So like just pull them, they don't care if you know them or not. They're like, you family today, boy. Come <laughs> dance with your grandma. And be all in that thing. And you know, it's always a bar. So as a young adult, you just love going to those. You can get a drink, you can get comfortable. You know? Get comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I love weddings, man. I love that energy for sure.